If you're looking to build your God Squad, head over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, instant delivery, and 24-hour customer support. Hit the link in the description and use code WOLF for 10% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a defensive setup that you can use from the Chiefs defensive playbook to help stop the run play and stop most pass plays in the game. Now, before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, become a member of the Wolfpack. Also, what I'm going to start doing, man, whenever the video goes live for 15 minutes after the video goes live and you get that notification and you start watching the video, I'll be answering questions in the comments. So whatever question you have, put it in the comments. Once you get the notification, you don't even have to watch the video yet, bro. If you got a question, something you've been wanting to ask me because so many videos on my channel, I can't see all the comments and reply to them. So instead, I'll go ahead and focus 15 minutes as soon as the video is posted just for you guys, man. So if you have something you want to know, it doesn't even have to be relative to this play. It could just be something that's on your mind, man, right? If you need relationship advice, right? You can ask me that if I have the time. Like, you know, I can't be telling you stories or whatnot. Okay, you need some money advice. Give it all to me. I'll take care of it for you. I'm just joking. Any questions you have, you can ask about defenses, how to do certain things, certain adjustments, things of that nature, man. Okay. Okay. 335, nickel 335. You guys, you haven't been using this defense and you're using the Chiefs playbook. It's pretty much the only defense you should be running out of the Chiefs playbook, to be honest with you guys. Now, what's cool about the Chiefs playbook is they have the even 6-1. I like this play when it's time to use it. There's a cover three blitz out of it. That's pretty good. However, blitzing is very hard to do in this game uh the big nick over g is a standard it was standard it was in every playbook last year and now they took it out of some playbooks this year so it was kind of strange you have the nickel normal and then you have dollar so nickel 335 is in between like the three fours and the dollars right nickel 335 you don't get that uh what is it they call it where I don't know where, where they can't run the ball on you like they can on dollar. Okay, so here you have a better chance of stopping the run. You can't stop like 0-1 traps effectively, but it's decent if you expect pass. So on the line, here we have Chris Jones. What I recommend if you're in Mutt to have an inside stuffer like Chris Jones to stop like the inside zones because people are going to be trying to run those on you and you can scare them from running those plays by having that guy there. And then in the stock defense, you're going to have linebackers. So we have my man Willie here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to replace all these guys with safeties. You don't want no linebackers because you get penalized for using linebackers in your formation. Now, I did make a mistake there, okay? I'll show you what the mistake is. Uh, I put Sneed on this side, and I want Sneed to be over here for my user. So we'll just go ahead and put this guy back over here. So we got Watts, Thompson, and Sneed because Sneed is the fastest of all of them, and that's who I want as my user. And on the outside, you just want to come to your adjustments and you want to go to cornerback matchups by speed. Uh, you want to change your option defense to conservative. You're facing Lamar or someone that's mobile. And in Mutt, 95% of the people are using Lamar. So, And then what I do is I change this to 20, 25. Let's just start at 20. And then you just adjust it according to what your opponent's doing. So I'm going to show you guys just a base setup and then you run with it after that. I'll show you different things and different ideas that I use in the game. Okay, so it's going to be cover two man. A lot of people running this, the meta, de uh, meta defense, but I'm going to try to expand on it a little bit for you guys, okay? Now, just run PA counter go. Okay, so base setup. We're going to press Y or triangle left stick down. Then we're going to shade over the top. Y or triangle right stick up for over the top. Now, you have multiple options, and this is what I like to do. Okay. Now, if you're in mutt, all you really need is two pass rushers. You don't need three. You don't. I'm sorry. You just don't. If you have two edge threats on each side, like say Clark and Okafor had the edge threat ability, you can always put this guy in the middle on a spy. Always. I'm telling you right now. Now, what we do with Thornhill up here is we're going to put him on a, a purple and we're going to put this guy on a purple. Now, this is where you have to be careful. Because people are getting smarter with the man defense. They'll throw it over the top of you. You know what I'm saying? They will throw it over the top of you. So this setup right here, you got to be careful with it. Let me offer you a different solution, a different path. Okay. And then what I typically do, I'll use the blitzing guy until I have to focus on the running back. If that makes any sense. So this would be the base setup to run first. 
But if you see that he's going to be throwing it over the top, I'm going to give you guys the alternate setup. Uh, they'll go ahead and snap the ball. I'm sure the, the AI is going to pick us apart as far as running defense because these guys can... Well, actually, you know what? I'm on two controllers. So let's just see. Maybe we can uh, find something find something open right here. As we snap the ball, we're going to look right. We got our tight end over here. So he's open. Now, how do we alleviate that? It's simple. You put the cloud flats there like this. Let's say you're on defense, okay? And you're seeing that he's hitting you with that corner route. Put clouds out there. You can bring these guys down if you have the time. All right? Put this guy on a spy, spread the D-line, and crash them down. This is assuming that you know it's going to be a pass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put Jones on a spy, and then you'll obviously be the this guy. Now, with Sneed, what I'm going to be doing with my user, I don't really care about drags and out routes. What I care about is anything that crosses over the middle of the field this way. So I'll go ahead and put... He's already manned up, but my user is going to follow the B route or the Y route, whoever goes over the top of these guys. So you see my clouds? My focus is back here now. All right, I'll give up the drags. Uh, the one thing that's going to hurt you too is if you don't have a fast enough safety on the running back, an angle route is going to get you. So if they hit you with an angle route, you're going to need to start uh, uh, worrying about that. And I'll show you guys the adjustment here, different types of adjustments that you can make. So basic setup, this is going to be it right here. Uh, I'm just going to try just assume I'm going to be guarding the B route, but let's see what happens to the A route now that I did this. Now that I have clouds out there, we got somebody there. You can hit stick them, pick the ball off, things like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it'll work better for you guys. So you can click on and things like that. So let's do it again. Uh, let's just try to hit that tight end. What we're trying to do is we're trying to close the gap from that tight end so he can't hit that tight end no more. We're trying to close it. And you can close it by bringing these guys in here like this, okay? Bring them down into the box. But you got to be careful, man, okay? Because if you play someone that knows what they're doing, you see right here, we got people there. And that's how you'll close off that. Now, another alternative, if you're afraid that they're going to get you over the top, okay? This is what I like to do. If I think that they're going to go over the top over the middle of the field, I'll change Thornhill into an inside third. Then I'll take my blitzer, put him on a purple, Spy Jones. So I'll do this in gameplay as well. Now, where am I weak? If they, well, I'm actually pressing and shading over the top, and then I pass commit if I assume it's a pass. So I'll run it this way, and then I'll be watching the running back. I will focus my attention to this guy. Know what I'm saying? So I'll be watching quick out routes, angle routes, and I'll sit a little bit low like this. So if he tries to throw something like, let's go ahead and just say, well, let's see, let me, hold on, hold on, homies. I'm trying to do this with the right hand. Like, say swing right. He jumps the ball. I'm following this guy. Okay. Now we're back to uh, A, B, those routes. So you have to be careful. And that's another thing you can do. That's another adjustment we, we can do. We could put the inside third. As you see, we don't have edge threat. So you don't have to put that. If you're not facing a mobile QB like Cousins, then just let the guy be a pass rusher. Okay. Because you're really taking this guy out of the equation. And he's got a really good ability. But assuming that it's, I'm explaining to this to you guys, assuming that it's a, a, it's a, a, a pass play. Okay. But obviously, you're going to want Jones against someone who's not. And then you only spy him when Lamar Jackson's giving you the trouble. Don't just do it automatically, okay? So I should have probably been clear about that. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and inside third this guy. We're going to put this guy on a cloud, okay? Bring him down, okay? And then what we'll do is put this guy on a purple or a cloud, however you want to do him. And then we're set up this way. So... Let's say they block their running back, okay? Now, out routes are taken care of. All I got to do is watch this, and pretty much everything is clamped up on the play. So it's just knowing whenever you make certain adjustments, how are you going to counter everything they do? Another adjustment you can make, okay? There's another one, is you put this guy on a purple, put this guy on a mid-read like this, right? And then you can put this guy on an inside third, and then user this guy, okay? So let's say that he throws anything, try to throw anything over the middle field light, then you'll have someone there. Uh, it, and it, it's, it's pretty cool. Or you could just spy him. So if he tries to throw like that angle route, this guy will pick it up. This guy will pick off angle routes if you put him in a spy. So I want you guys to see how he sits when I snap the ball right here. He'll sit and then like if it's an angle route, he's right there ready to pick it off. So that guy can go on a spy too. You know what I'm saying? So your pass rush is a little bit better when you use all three. But if you're facing a Lamar Jackson, you'll see me do it in game plays. I'll have to spy this guy. And it's the last guy I want to spy. I don't really want to spy someone like Jones because he's too 
he's the best one on the team as far as the line. So I'll probably like move him over and then put some bum in the middle just to spy him. You know what I'm saying? We could do that that way. Now, if you're in the red zone, you could still run this. Okay, in the red zone, you can still run this. And then what you're going to do here is, oh, another thing. My bad, homies. Let's say someone's burning you right here in this area. Skinny post, uh, short post that come over the middle. What I do is I'll take Thornhill and I'll put him on a yellow. Okay, I'll put him on a yellow and then I'll bring this guy down. And I'll, I can you can either put him on an inside third or a purple or cloud. Usually I'll go purple. If I use a hook curl, I'll use purple. Now, what I'm looking for is I'm going to be giving up the drag routes. I'm giving up the drag routes and I'm watching over the top. So they snap the ball. I'm coming up here, bro. OK, this is what I'm doing. You'll see that right there. OK, look, you see B route over there. You see B route over there. The reason he's getting that far open is because my purples are what, 20. But if I come over here uh, to my coaching adjustments, and this is what I mean. Uh, unless you have these set all the way back to 30 and we're going to come run the same play and then put a purple out there, that crossing route's going to get behind them. And it still might even get close to being behind them anyway. So let's go ahead. What, what formation was I in? This one, right? Where's PA counter? Right here. Okay. Same thing. So let's say I put this guy on a purple, right? And let's see that. Let's see what that crossing route, the B route does right over the top. So you see that that purple's kind of in the way. So you'll see that, and this is how I technically run it. I, I should have told this to you guys, but technically what I do is I put this on 25 whenever I face trips because of the crossing route. So the curl flat is guaranteed. Pay attention to the B route. Bro, this guy is shedding instantly off the line because of play action. This is why I do not use play actions in my in most of my games, bro. It's exactly the reason why. Let's go ahead and cancel play action. It's just a, it's been a glitch since earlier in Madden's, bro. But let's say I'm trying to throw the B route. You see the cloud right there? Just making it hard for him. So I guess 20, 30, 25 is what you want to run against like trips tight end. So make sure that you use that adjustment on the line. Now, if they're running the ball on you, you obviously want to pinch the line, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is just bring your safeties down to the box. You got to be careful with what you do with these guys because it could be the difference between a uh, touchdown or not. Now, if I have to bring them down into the box here, um, I'm going to leave them on blues if I have to because assuming that he's mixing it up, we want to scare him from the box. So if he does run inside zone, the only problem is, is that your defenders will back up. You see how they back up, they backtrack, but we're still stacking the box. You know what I'm saying? Now... What else can I tell you guys? I think that's about it, bro. The man defense is, is really OP. There's ways to beat it, but what you're, what you're doing is you're just trying to throw him off from certain routes. So you see what routes he's looking for. If he's throwing like drags and just run uh, double clouds. And then when you run double clouds, your assignment shifts to the back. So you're back here. You don't worry about drags and stuff low. You worry about these deep crossing routes and stuff like that. Don't put clouds and then stay low. Unless the angle route's killing you. And if the angle routes from the running back are killing you, okay, then you just right here and then you can just man up A to this guy. Okay, so it looked like this. So if the angle route, if they, you know, if they, let's just assume the running back's running an angle route, boom, and then you just throw it over here and that guy's gonna be there to make a move like that. You know what I'm saying? So there it is, man. Just a couple of adjustments that you can use. We'll get into some zone defense and certain things that I like to do, as well as an awesome defense in Mutt that you can start using. It's just I can't really show you with these teams because they don't have full abilities where you can pick. pick. Bro, I have an awesome. I. It's a setup that I was thinking about even before Madden came out. And yes, it's, it's beautiful. Anyway, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Love you guys, man. Peace.